I'll quickly show you how the Vibrance adjustment works in Affinity Photo. It can be added to your document as a non-destructive adjustment layer by going to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, Vibrance. It's a fairly straightforward adjustment with two sliders, Vibrance and Saturation. The Saturation slider affects all color values equally, so if I drag it to the right, color intensity across the whole image will increase. And if I drag it to the left, color intensity will decrease until the image becomes monochromatic. I can reset the slider to its default position by double-clicking on the node here. Vibrance will enhance color intensity, but is weighted to be more restrictive on a certain hue range, specifically the majority of red and orange tones, which makes it ideal for portraiture as it can protect the typical colors associated with skin tones. It is also less aggressive overall and will not fully saturate color tones. This is best demonstrated on this image of an HSL waterfall representation. Here I have the base image. Then I also have two layers I've created with the vibrance adjustment merged down onto them. Soloing the saturation layer will show how the saturation slider at 100% will affect this image. And if I solo the vibrance layer instead, you will see that when the vibrance slider is set to 100%, there is more fall off in color intensity especially around the reds. The gradation between the colors is also smoother and less abrupt. We can also examine this on a more technical level by going to Window, Scope, to enable the Scope panel, and I'll switch the view across to a vector scope. The vector scope contains the eye line, commonly regarded as a guideline for skin tones. Watch what happens when I solo the saturation layer. There is a thick white line going around most of the color ranges where peak color intensity is easily being reached. Now, if I solo the vibrance layer, notice there is no longer a peak in intensity around the red tones and the eye line. Generally then, we could conclude that the vibrance slider allows us to make smoother, more controlled changes to color intensity compared to the saturation slider, in addition to protecting colors associated with skin tones. With this portrait image, for example, I'll add a Vibrance adjustment. Now, moving the Vibrance slider up allows me to add some subtle warmth to the overall image without oversaturating any of the important detail. Notice there is not a huge amount of difference in the RGB waveform. This image is predominantly red biased, so increasing Vibrance, which is designed to protect this color range, does not have a huge overall effect on color intensity. In comparison, the saturation slider easily saturates the skin tones on the model, making the whole image look very garish. The RGB waveform has also been altered significantly, with the red tones becoming far more intense. So there we go. That was a look at the vibrance adjustment and some practical examples of how you might use it. I hope you found this video helpful, and thank you for watching.